Howdy. Judy. I was on a quest today to find lion's mane mushrooms. I could not find them anywhere. I went to Sprouts and Whole Foods. I did find oyster mushrooms. I just put them away. Now, these are very good. I have seen videos of these. I guess they can go like either way. As in, you can fry them like flat and make like a burger out of them. You can also fry them up and make what we would call chicken nuggets out of them. So, since I have my soup, I'm going to eat my soup tonight. And tomorrow night, I'm going to attempt to fry them up. While I was at Sprouts, I found vegan sea salt caramel chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> we all know how that was going to go. Mm. 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 Don't get me wrong, I can make these. I've got all the ingredients. I was having one of those days where I couldn't find anything I wanted. I found this at Whole Foods. Apparently it's normally $45, somewhere in there. I only paid 30 something for it. This is good because it only has six ingredients. Organic pea protein, organic alkalized cocoa, or, or, organic vanilla powder, or apparently I can't talk, sorry. Organic pumpkin seed, organic monk, monk fruit extract, organic chia seed protein. Now, I have been looking for protein powders since like January. And the thing is, everyone I look up, they are vegan, they are organic. However, they use like stevia leaves or stevia extract as their sugar. Now, I quit looking things up because I was like, okay, I'm getting over. And then I went back and looked again. And I looked it up and I did the research because I'm like, Stevia extract is not exactly what I'm looking for. That's a variation of sugar, like cane sugar. Sugar is not good for our bodies. I know we need it, don't get me wrong, it's like salt. We have, to, like our body needs a certain amount of the right sugar and salt, which is why I use my Himalayan pink salt. However, after doing the research, Monk fruit can give you the sugar you need. Just like I use, um, just like at night, I pour myself, like in the morning, I pour myself a bowl of mixed berries or some kind of fruit. You don't have to eat mixed berries. You can get, if you, if you like strawberries, get a bag of strawberries. Um, apples. I would suggest buying organic vegan app well organic apples take them home i still wash them cut them up and put them in a pan and make your own applesauce which is very easy um i have to get me an emulsion blender which i will be doing either next month or in june and i'll make my own applesauce because if you eat fruit it has natural sugar in it so when i eat like a bowl of that I'm confused. I've rearranged everything the last two days. So here's my bowl. And it's a pretty good sized bowl. So you don't have to fill it up, but I put like a fourth of it in here. I put just enough to cover the bottom. Okay, well I can't eat ice cold things. So I put it in there, let it sit on the counter, let it like room temperature type of thing. 
and I eat it about seven, eight o'clock at night when I take my other meds. Um, the thing is, when you eat fruit, it's a natural sugar, which your body is craving, which is fine. Why did I buy chocolate chip cookies? Because I haven't had them in a year. Like, I used to go to Sprouts once a month and get a package of chocolate chip cookies just to eat. And when I was at Sprouts today, I looked at it and went, oh my God, I haven't had them in like a year. Um, so I got a package of the sea salt caramel and then I got just a package of regular vegan chocolate chip. Because I will put these in the fridge. And that's the thing. I can't, like, even putting those in the fridge, I will have to take them out tomorrow morning and just let them sit on the table till they get to room temp because my teeth are so sensitive I can't handle it. So, if you're looking like I was for a protein powder, and why do I do that? Because when I get up in the morning, the last thing I want to do is eat, but I'm hungry. But I don't like... So I make a protein shake and I have one of those, which is my protein type of thing. So this stuff is really good. Um, I started using this stuff the other day and I have the opinion that if they're good enough to take their vitamins, then it's good enough to do a powder. Now, I don't have an issue with this powder. It's, it's better than the Earth Chimp I was trying. This <laughs> Earth Chimp is gritty, really gritty. This stuff is creamy, smooth, and I, I don't do the vanilla stuff. I only do chocolate, and I won't do strawberry either, just so you know. Now, this one has a list. Um, ingredients, raw organic protein blend, organic pea protein, organic sprouted rice protein, organic air mass sprout, I can't even pronounce half these words, organic buckwheat sprout, organic millet sprout, organic cracked wall something, organic quino, qu quino sprout, organic chia seed sprout, organic garbanzo bean sprout, organic lentil sprout, that's the only way I'll eat that because I will not eat lentils or any of those, ch like chickpeas I'm okay with, but I have to mash them up to put them in my food. So the fact that I can eat them out of here, yeah. Organic something bean sprout, organic flaxseed sprout, organic sunflower seed sprout, organic pumpkin seed sprout, organic sesame seed sprout. That's a lot of shit. <laughs> I mean, seriously, and some of these things I can't even pronounce, but if I look them up, I know it's good for us because I have looked it up. Okay, organic flavor vanilla. <laughs> yeah. Organic chocolate flavor with other natural flavors. Organic cocoa, organic ethyl something, organic gear gum, which we should not be taking in the gear gum thing. There's no reason for us to have that. Sea salt, organic stevia leaf extract, right there. So this has another form of sugar in it. Oh, I lost my place. Raw, raw probiotic and enzyme blend. You know, it'd be great if they put these in words that we can read and understand. Is it just me? Huh? Uh, lipis something. You know, I can't read any of these words, but apparently they're supposed to be good for us. They're probiotic and enzyme. <laughs> they help with our gut digestion. Um, yeah. I mean, which, don't get me wrong, it's really good. And it contains sesame. I mean, it's really good. I don't have anything bad to say about that sort of stuff. So I'm going to try that some more, and I'm also going to try this one and see which one I like the best, because this one has less ingredients. Okay, fine, whatever. Um, yeah, so, <sighs> it's been a long day. I, I think I left here around 11, 11.30. No, I left here almost noon, and it's 5.30 and I just got home. <laughs> I went to, I went to Whole Foods, I went to Sprouts, that's it. 
Yeah, that's it. That's all. That's, that's seriously. That's the only two places I went to was Whole Foods and Sprouts, and I rode six different buses. <laughs> so, so I that that two dollar pass really came in handy. Um, okay, so I'm gonna let you go. Oh, 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 oh. I found this at Sprouts today, and I was just like, oh my god, there's two patties in here, so I had to try them. Um, I found these at Whole Foods. I have never been a sausage liker, lover, anything. So this one is mushroom, caramelized onion, and fig. <gasps> and this one is plant-based chicken, smoked bacon, and ranch salad. <gasps> so, and they're both new. And yes, I did look. I trust this brand. So I, I did, I read the ingredients before I left and bought them. And I was just like, I have to try those. Tonight I'm eating soup. Um, I may have to wait until it gets cold down again to eat those pizzas because I have to heat up the big old oven. I can't put them in my air fryer. <sighs> anyway, um, had a wonderful day, so to speak. <sighs> now to take a breath and yeah, I will come back later and these cookies are delicious. Uh, mm. I can't even begin to tell that how good they are. Mm -hmm. mm. So good. So have a wonderful evening, and I will talk to you again soon.